Hello everyone, welcome back to Demet channel for trending political stories and economic related issues and anything else that's just trending in Zambia. Make sure you follow me for all those updates and uh, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and you can also check out my channel profile and uh, choose uh, videos from the playlist that best suit your interest. With that said, let's jump right into it. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Um, I must apologize, first of all, that uh, I couldn't come online uh, yesterday, last night, uh, being a Sunday, and as earlier announced. I, I couldn't talk yesterday because what I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, I wanted to talk about UCA, I wanted to talk about Tonse Alliance, as well as PF as a, as a whole. Uh, I must admit that I am not uh, excited with the, a number of things that are currently going on. I'm not excited with uh, Uka Alliance uh, formation. I'm not excited with Tonse. I'm not very happy with uh, PF. You know, in as much as Haka uh, uh, Ichilema is doing all sorts of things against PF, which are not constitutional. But I am not happy with the way they are handling themselves. And this, I say, including uh, Edgar Chagwalungu himself. And these are things that I wanted to talk about. But then, before I could come online, um, I saw some videos of where Edgar Lungu was attacked by UPND cadres. And uh, um, I also received a text message from somebody who said, you know, I mean, maybe just talk to them privately than uh, criticizing them, you know, publicly. And I agreed with the, uh, that gentleman who uh, sent me that text message because if I bring out some of these weaknesses or some of these negatives in UCA, in Tonse, and the uh, PF, I mean, to whose benefit? To whose benefit? So I realized... You know, maybe let me just leave it. Especially after seeing the videos of Edgar Lungu being attacked. That to me was like, no, come on. Uh, I think, uh, let me just skip. And I, I got very frustrated and I just, I just slept. But in case some of you don't know, Edgar Lungu yesterday went to pray Christ. in Kafue. Oh, and, and I think for that I should and, thank uh, the when the you. When the right UK made that like Edgar Lungu is in shape, they went and over, we laid Edgar Lungu's convoy on the main road. They mounted some kind of a roadblock. Okay, they mounted some kind of a roadblock and they were screening vehicles as they were passing. And this was not just like a short time, they were there for some time. And one would wonder to say, Where were the police? Anyway, when Edgar Lungu's vehicle passed, these cadres got into the bus and other vehicles and they ran a chase against Edgar Lungu's vehicle. And at some point, they actually uh, caught up with Edgar Lungu's vehicle, as you can see uh, in, in, in this picture. As you can see in this picture. You see in this picture, there is a, 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 a mean bus and um, a Toyota Fortuner. This Toyota Fortuner, this is where Edgar Lungu uh, was. And these are the cadres in, in, in this bus. So, as you can see, they are moving you know, at, uh, uh, a parallel, you know, to each other. And these cadres were brandishing, you know, their weapons that they had through the windows and hallowing all sorts of insults against Edgar Lungu as the vehicles were, were going. Talk about uh, uh, traffic uh, risks, you know, because just look at, if you look at the, the, these vehicles like this, this is very dangerous, you know. This is very dangerous. Edgar Lungu's vehicle could have lost control, gone out of the road, and we could be talking of something else, including the cadres themselves. Because even the cadres, as they are moving like this, it is also possible that something would happen. Or oh, other citizens, other oncoming vehicles. Because this is the main road that we are talking about. So, this anarchy, this anarchy posed danger, first of all, to Edgar Lungu, who they were attacking, posed danger to other citizens, as well as the cadres themselves. Because much as they are cadres, they are citizens. These are children of, of some people. These are husbands of some people. These are fathers of some people. So, we still have to care for their you know, for their, for their, for their safety. Anyway, uh, safe, uh, luckily Edgar Lungu managed, you know, to reach home uh, safely. But these cadres, if you may ask, where are they getting the powers to do these kind of things? They are getting the powers from the president himself, from Haka Inde Ichilema. Haka Inde Ichilema is sanctioning this kind of behavior by cadres. He's sanctioning it. And yes, you would, somebody would, stand, would want to argue with me to say, uh, I mean, did you see, did you hear him say this, whatever, whatever, you know. But the point is, when Haka Inde Ichilema utters some of those things that he says against the, the former president, he indirectly incites these cadres to behave in this manner. He indirectly 
he indirectly incites these cadres to put up such behavior against Ed Garun. It is, it is, it is not that these cadres are just, you know, acting on their own. And besides, he, this minbus was hired. These, these young people here in this, in this minbus were actually paid, and somebody had to get out the money and give them. This is not that, you no, know, cadres from nowhere they stood up. No, these are hired. Uh, uh, these are hired people and somebody is giving out the money and definitely this money is coming from the UPND and it is coming from the UPND whoever is giving out the money is feeling good to say I'm doing this on behalf of the president the president is going to be happy and if indeed these cadres are not being sanctioned uh, by president Aka Indeichirima we would see some of these cadres arrested in this video we can clearly see the vehicles on which these cadres were riding with their number plates clearly number plates they are there you know even the, this land cruiser, eh, you can clearly see the number plate. Eh? So if really they are not being sanctioned, they should be arrested. But no one is going to be arrested. That's why they are doing it. And this is unacceptable, my brothers and sisters. This is what we refused when PF was in power. We criticized these things. Now UPND is in power and they are doing the same things. They are even doing it more dangerously. More dangerously following a vehicle like this. And you know, this is not the first time that cadres are doing this. I mean, they did the same thing, remember, with me in Chingola. I mean, they also chased my vehicle like nobody's business. Eh? Again, risking my life, risking uh, the cadres' life, risking other, you know, motorists on the, on the road. Anyway, my point is, we may be looking at these pictures and feel like, you know, Ed Galungu is weak and whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, this is affecting our country. This is affecting you and I. You might think that you are safe. I keep saying that no Sharimu Akabamu. You might think you are safe. But I, I can assure you, dictators, when they are done dealing with their opponents, they even go for potential dangers. Potential threats. They go for them. So one day you just never know. You might be the target. And we Zambians, all of us collectively, must act together to stop Aka Indeichima from dictatorship. We are the only ones that can stop Aka Indeichima from dictatorship. Edgar Lungu, by himself, he will not do it. Tonse will not do it. Uka will not do it. It needs all Zambians to come together and say we are a democracy and we should not accept this kind of hooliganism. We should not accept this kind of hooliganism. We have to stop this hooliganism. This is my call, my brothers and sisters, this morning. This is my call. That please... Can we unite as Zambians? Forget about the political parties. Forget about the alliances. Forget about Edgar Chagolungu. Edgar Chagolungu is just somebody that, you know, we want to come and help us. But really, the people to do the fight, the people to do the fight to stop Haka in the Ichirima from this dictatorship, it's the general citizenry. It is the general populace. Those who are feeling the pain of expensive millennial. Those who are feeling the pain of expensive electricity, which is even not there, you have load shading. Those who are feeling the pain of not having agricultural inputs. Those who are having the pain of not having jobs. Those who are, those who are having pain of not doing business with government because of the corruption that is there. And not being paid when they supply to government. Those who, whose land is being taken away. Those whose properties are being grabbed. We need to come together and stop our kind of What is happening in Zambia is unacceptable. Don't think that this is acceptable. No, it's not. And even you, Kandas, you praise singers, I don't think you are benefiting anything up other than, you know, with the hope that you have to say, maybe if I make so much noise, maybe if I make so much noise. But really, you, the praise singers, are not enjoying anything. The people who are enjoying are those people like you are never Sumumba. Even when you are busy on social media, what, 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 what? But I will never 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 Sumumba. I never Sumumba. Because I'm thinking and they're cool. Now, if people are going to be paid, I'm not going to be paid. I'm not going to be paid. I'm not going to be paid. Wake up. Have a good day, my brothers and sisters, and may God bless you.